Olga, unfortunately, your test came out positive for hepatitis B. Oh my god, how can I be so careless? <laughs> what do I do now? Well, let's first discuss how you were exposed. I really don't wear glares when I'm giving care because you know these old people, they don't have the Jesus. Uh, yes, they do. If they are alive, they can have a disease. You mean old people could get HIV? <clears throat> um, wow, you didn't know that? You know, I thought only gay people get it. Okay, stop. Just stop. I see you haven't had any formal education. Right. Well, do you have a few minutes so I can inform you about your diagnosis and other bloodborne pathogens? Well, I would have said I have all the time in the world, but you said I got hepatitis. Well, you could still live a long time with Hep B. <laughs> okay then, I have all the time in the world for you, Doctor. Mwah. Um, yeah, no. <clears throat> so, Hepatitis B is carried by the blood. So, at some point you had to have contact with someone that had Hep B. Like what kind of contact? Because I don't have a boyfriend. I've been waiting on someone special. You know what I'm saying? I think I do, but I hope I don't, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're so funny, doctor. Okay, since this is not a laughing matter, I will continue. Hepatitis B is a viral infection of the liver. It can damage the liver over time if you don't take care of yourself by eating healthy, resting, and drinking. Oh, then I'm going to be cured today. I drink all the time. When I leave here, I'm going to drink a whole case of beer. No beer. This is a life change. Remember, most viruses can be part of your DNA. So how about wine or whiskey? Water, Olga. Drink water. Whoa, I'm sorry. I had a rough day. Aww. Back to your Hep B. It's highly likely you acquired the virus while you were working with one of your patients. You mean one of my patients gave me the eebie-jeebies? How did that happen? Hep B, not eebie-jeebies. Sure, what's the bottom line, Doctor? Hep-choo! <laughs> Excuse me, that was good sneeze etiquette. You must wash, wash, wash your hands and wear gloves when you're going to be in contact with blood or bodily fluids. Bodily fluids? I told you I don't have no man. Ha, <whistles> oh, Olga. Bodily fluids is just not semen. It's tears, mucus, blood, urine, saliva, and more. So much for crying on <laughs> your shoulder. Hep B is not transferred through the tears. You had to have broken skin that was in contact with the virus. So was there any medication? Well, yes, our tests show that you recently acquired Hep B, so there is hope. Was it the day I poked my finger with the needle last week? Aww. Yes, the patient was positive for Hep B, so it's likely. We don't know what day you contracted it, only how recent versus some time ago. Tell me about the medication. We are going to give you a shot of hepatitis B immunoglobulin. You going to give me hepatitis again? It's a solution of antibodies that are able to attach to the hepatitis B virus and cause them to be destroyed. So I'm going to be all right. <laughs> Again, with proper diet, exercise, water, medication, you can live a long life. Oh, good. So we can get married. Um, I'm gay. 
If you're looking for a real date, call me, Olga. A one seven. Don't nobody want to try for self. Three one. You find me at Stone Academy. You just jealous I didn't want you.